Hey guys, Matthew here. So, like I did with the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and MX Master keyboard, I also have the Microsoft Surface mouse and the Microsoft Surface keyboard without a fingerprint scanner, um, so stay tuned. Okay, so for starters here, the Microsoft keyboard starts at uh, $99, however, the the Microsoft keyboard that comes with the fingerprint scanner uh, goes all the way up to $129.99 and so therefore this one right here I have is the Microsoft regular keyboard without the fingerprint scanner and then the mouse here is the Bluetooth mouse and it is for $49.99 I believe or $45.99 and um but if you have if you buy a Microsoft Studio one or two I believe you get both of these in the box, um, but anyways, I wanted to find a keyboard that um, and mouse that work well with other devices, uh, such as your Apple devices and your Microsoft devices, stuff like that. Uh, and so this one, in my opinion, has worked really well and the typing experience is great. So we'll go ahead and get into kind of the specs and stuff like that. So here we go. Okay, so for starters, just like the Logitech MX Master keyboard, um, this also has the number pad on the right side, so therefore you can be typing stuff like that, and if you need to use your numbers or anything like that, or multitasking, you can kind of use your number pad right here, which is nice, especially if you're doing accounting or a spreadsheet or anything like that, you've got your number pad right here to the side without having to, I know it's not a huge difference typing your numbers out in the number line above the keyboard, however, it just makes it a little bit more enjoyable to type the numbers on the side here rather than up top here. So uh, you can do everything with one hand versus trying to kind of chicken peck, I guess. Um, or using two hands, taking both hands off the keyboard to find the numbers that you want. So, in my opinion, I really like that the number pad is to the side. I prefer, personally, I prefer the number pad on the side rather than up top. Um, so, both these keyboards have that, which I really like. So, unlike the Logitech keyboard or any Apple keyboards, this keyboard specifically is made for Microsoft devices as you can see with the Microsoft logo here um, that will or the Windows logo here that will pull up your Windows start uh, function so unlike the Apple keyboard where you don't have one of these you have more command FN stuff like that and the Logitech keyboard where if you have that you have this but you also have slash command function as well um, so that keyboard is made for both this this keyboard is mainly made for Microsoft devices However, I found that this keyboard does work well with Apple computers I actually currently have this connected to my iMac um, right now, and so um, I have not found any issues with connection between this and the iMac so for any of you guys that are like well I really have an Apple computer and I know you said that this is made for Microsoft computers it will work because again it uses Bluetooth um, to connect to the computer so you don't have to install any software and it's not just specifically made for uh, Microsoft devices but is recommended to use this with a Microsoft device to the point where Microsoft ships this and the mouse with their surface studio devices but anyways you can use this for other devices such as your iMac your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air anything like that but anyways um I do like that the keys the arrow keys especially here are spaced um very well I know with the Apple keyboards um, it's more of the inverted T which is nice but the the left and right keys are kind of shallower um, kind of narrower but this the left and right keys are full-size keys just like the up and down keys so as you can see here um, the left and right keys right here are more of a actual key versus kind of a mini key or anything like that and part of that can be because um, you're not trying to fit this in a small keyboard chassis kind of like on your laptop or on a small the small um, 
Mac, uh, Apple keyboards. You're not trying to fit in a small chassis, so therefore you have all this space here to put a uh, an arrow key. If you wanted, if they wanted to, they could essentially move all this up and make these bigger or at least longer, and so therefore you use all this space. But um, I like that these are the same size as your regular uh, letter keys and number keys. So that's, in my opinion, a very nice plus. In my, so here you can see that the keyboard is raised right here when it sits on the table. It, it's kind of raised a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit for more aerodynamics when it comes to um, your typing posture and like that. You're not fully on a flat keyboard, you're kind of raised, so it helps with typing. This will use anything, any device that uses a Bluetooth 4.0 and 4.2, I believe, 4.1, 4.2, anything like that. Um, so if you have a device that uses 5.0, um, then this will still work as long as it is 4.1 or 4.0 and up. Um, this should pair to it and it's very easy to pair. All you do is on the uh, left side here, there is a um, Bluetooth button and you just hold that down and then and when you hold that down it puts this device into pairing mode and then when it's in pairing mode you find it on your device that you want to pair it to and you click pair and it pairs up pretty easily um, no big nothing huge nothing amazing no software you have to um, install it just pairs up really easily easily on the right side here right here is houses the batteries um, so this doesn't use um, a USB-C charging or a uh, Apple lightning charger or any kind of like um, any kind of a, a rechargeable battery which is in my opinion one of the downsides I really like that I can just plug it in for a little bit um, at least with the Logitech or even the Apple one, I can just plug it in for a little bit and then um, after that it's ready to go. I have to find actual batteries, uh, anything like that. I really wish that you could plug this in and then it would just charge up. That way um, you don't have to spend money on batteries. But um, this is a small little um, small little sacrifice that you make for this keyboard. I really do like this keyboard. Um, and the, bed, the housing right here is more magnetic. As you can see, you just kind of, um, I'll try to see if I can, it just kind of clicks into place just like that. And it's really nice. You do have your, um, uh, your normal brightness buttons and your volume buttons and like that. However, these might work. They might not depending on your device. Uh, I know with the Apple computers, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, I'm not sure. Um, but you do also have a lock button, or, or yeah, a lock button right here um, where you can press it and it will lock your computer. So this again is for $99. If you want the, the, compute, the, the keyboard with the fingerprint scanner, it will be an additional $30, so $129.99. Um, but the question is, is it worth the $30 for that extra fingerprint scanner? And honestly, in a day and age where most devices have fingerprint scanners built in, I do think it would be nice to just walk up and then just put your finger on the fingerprint scanner um, and then be in your device instead of having to put in a password because knowing me, I always forget my passwords to the point where I have to have a list of all my passwords um, on my phone. So um, it's nice to be able to just walk up, put your fingerprint on the scanner and it unlocks. So uh, that is the keyboard. We'll put this to the side. And here's the mouse. This mouse works just like the keyboard Bluetooth. You hold down the, the Bluetooth power, power button right here and um, you hold it down for a while and it will go into pairing mode. It will start flashing, um, blinking blue and that's when you know it's in pairing mode and then from there you find in your settings and you pair it and it's super easy no software again um, to turn it on you just press it to turn it off you hold and you press and hold until it turns off um, and then again um, right here it houses the button the batteries it's not rechargeable 
but it, it uses AAA batteries just like the keyboard and, and you just kind of press right here and this kind of lifts up and then from there you kind of, you can take it off and then change the battery itself. This, this, this mouse is pretty good, it's pretty decent. Uh, it, the, the wheel is nice. It's kind of small compared to other wheels, but it's it feels nice and it feels the keyboard the mouse itself feels pretty good. Um, again, this is like $45.99 or $49.99. I can't remember which, but uh, I will say that I have had issues with this mouse and my Apple keyboard with the with, with the mouse kind of skipping a little bit. I'm not sure if it's an issue with my Apple MacBook or anything else, but it does kind of skip a little bit. Uh, I haven't had this issue with my iMac, so it might just be my MacBook um, Pro. But anyways, just wanted to point that out. There is also a mouse, a uh, Microsoft mouse, that is more of a, it's a Bluetooth mouse. It's a Bluetooth precision mouse. And it has kind of the same design as that MX Master, um, Master 3 mouse that I had in an earlier video with the scrolling and then the scrolling as well on the side, um, more with the, with the thumb rest on the bottom as well. And so that, that mouse is $99.99, um, the same price as the Master 3. That That is also there if you want something that's very comparable to the Master 3 mouse um, as well as the keyboard. Um, so if you want kind of a, a alternative to an Apple keyboard and Apple mouse, you have this. Again, this isn't specifically made for Apple devices, but it still works with Apple devices and it works pretty well with them. Again, I use this for my iMac um, to do some some uh, multitasking, some productive work, anything like that, and it works pretty well um, in my opinion, again, but it is specifically mainly for um, Microsoft devices such as your Microsoft um, Studio Studio 2 because again it does ship in the box with those so obviously if it ships in the box with it it's definitely made for it but anyways um, thank you for watching guys this has been my uh, Microsoft keyboard and mouse walkthrough uh, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video until then, everyone, stay safe.